guys, what's up? Brent Calmer from Blue Water VST. I have a very cool quick tip for you today on using Reactor Spiral with some of Reactor's other synthesizers, in particular one called Accord, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So I know some people are confused about how to hook up Spiral. I was for a long time. I beat my head against the wall and finally I realized it was much simpler than I was making it out to be. So I'm going to save you some time in this, in this tutorial. So let's do this. Let's come over to uh, our browser. I'm going to go to Factory, and then I want to come to Electron Electronic Instruments Volume 2, and I want to select Accord. So it's Accord 1.3 ENS. This is the Accord Ensemble. So I'm going to drag this in. And Accord, the Ensemble, is uh, comprised of two pieces. The first is the Sequencer. It's kind of a step se sequencer with, with some chord capabilities. And then the Synthesizer below. So if we listen to one of the snapshots, here's what we get. Again, I love these sounds. This is a fantastic piece of uh, piece of kit for you know house or anything where you need lush chord sounds. But it's also very versatile. So we want to replace this sequencer with Spiral, right? So we have this sequencer, which is more of a step sequencer, and we want to use Spiral in its place, which is kind of more of an experimental sequencer. Now to do that, I need to get rid of this top sequencer. So I'm going to come over here between our uh, sidebar and our main panel here and click on this properties tab or excuse me not properties the uh, structure structure tab structure view selector and now you'll see that this breadcrumb trail appears at the top of the header now if I click on Accord 1.3 it will bring us to the structure and we see that just as uh, we had in the panel view we have the sequencer which seems to be spelled wrong, a crod, oh well. The sequencer goes into the synth and goes out through the outs. So I'm going to select the sequencer and just simply delete it. And now I'm going to go back, I can double click anywhere in this empty, uh, I don't know, in layout, you call it a pasteboard, I'm not sure what it's called in this, and go back up to the panel view. So now all we have is the synth, right? We can play the synth. But it's not being sequenced. So now let's come back over here to our browser. So I'm going to click on this magnifying glass all the way over to the left. And I want to come down here to New Editions, Sequencers, and Spiral. And I'm just going to drag Spiral in to our panel view. Except it's not going to let me do that because I tried to select the entire ensemble. So I am going to go back to our structure view and try it again. I've dragged this in. Now I have Spiral in here. Now here's the kind of counterintuitive part. You don't actually have to wire Spiral to anything in your structure view. You just have to have it in there. And now once I go back up to the panel view, you'll see how much easier this is probably than you've been making it. So now I have Spiral here at top, and I have a chord over here to the right. Now I'm going to click on the chord's header and just drag it down here because I want it to be below, and it will snap into place below Spiral. And now, I am going to click on Spiral's panel, come over here to our tabs, and all the way over to the right is this checkbox, which is our properties tab. I'm going to click on that, and below the sub-tab fields will appear, function, info, view, and connect. Also want all the way over to the right, connect. And now this dialog appears, which is essentially configuring devices within a reactor, and actually out, outside of it as well. So, down in MIDI out, in this two internal instruments section, we want essentially to tell Spiral to start controlling a chord. So on this drop down, just select a chord, right, the top one, which is the instrument. I'm going to select that, and now I'm going to come over here and select a snapshot that I want, which I, from my experience, know is kind of more in line with uh, what I want than what's in there right now. And that is, which one is it? It's one called Lounge. Lounge 2. I'm going to slow this down a bit so that you really get a sense for how this sounds. And there's a snapshot I also like in here called, what is it, Berlin and Ghana. And now these should, be, these should be connected. So cross your fingers. I'm going to hit play here. So there you go.
Now, Spiral's a very complex sequencer, and you can tell just from the graphics that essentially the way it works is by rotating different hits around kind of a central, a central point. They kind of orbit around it, and there are all sorts of different ways to control how fast they go, the quantization of the hits, and in fact, the scales to which you want to confine the hits. So if you want a C minor scale, if you want a C major scale, all sorts of different scales in here. But it's so, it's so ripe for experimentation. This thing is so cool, and what you can do with it is record audio from it and just wait for those times where you really get a melody that you like, and then go back and loop it and play with it it's really cool for coming up with ideas, so now you know how to hook it up. And there's no reason you can't hook this up to really any synth in Reactor and, and just experiment with the different snapshots, both in the synth and in Spiral, and you'll have a lot of fun with it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me. I hope it saves you some time with it.